Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a character blink in Anime Studio. Tutorial. Now there are two methods of uh, making uh, a character uh, blinking. One is uh, the simple uh, more amateur way and the second one is uh, a bit more advanced. So uh, as you can see I've already uh, drawn a character but I haven't drawn his eyes yet so we are going to do that right now we are going to start with the first method of course and I'll create a switch layer for that and I'll name it eyes then I make a vector layer and I call it open and I'll just put that layer right here now I'm going to zoom in to where I'm going to draw his eyes and I'll take the draw shape tool I'll choose uh, the oval and I'll choose a color white and I'll just draw a oval right here put it here then make sure it's selected and then I go to and uh, no wait I'm just first I'm going to make his pupil and I'll choose black and I'll draw a pupil right here put it a little bit in the middle then I select all of it and then I go to edit copy edit and paste and I'll just move the second eye right here so um, now I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'll name it closed and first I'll just remove the pupils right here and I'm going to change the color for these objects and I'll what you do you select uh, this eye right here take the eyedropper tool and you just click on the skin color of the head and then it gets the same color same thing for this one there so uh, now take the add point tool and what I do uh, I'm going to make a line right here on these points now you see uh, the form changes right here and we, we can fix that by using the curvature tool and just click on this point and move it to the right so it goes back to normal and what I'm also going to do is we need to fill the line of course um, you take the paint bucket tool make sure stroke is selected click on it and then it has uh, then we have a line uh, so we're gonna do the same thing for this eye right here that take the curvature tool the form and then take the paint bucket tool and just fill the line there we go so if I zoom out right now um, make sure uh, the open eyes layer is selected uh, on the switch layer this uh, this time and I go to uh, a frame on the timeline doesn't matter which one uh, this one and then what I do I just click on right mouse on the switch layer and click on closed so now on this frame uh, the eye uh, uh, the closed eye layer becomes uh, visible uh, and then I'll just move the it a, a bit here or maybe here and then I change it back to normal so now if I play it looks like this so this is uh, the amateur way of uh, making a character blink so if that's good for you you can use it so now I'm going to uh, use a more advanced way 
and for that we are going to remove uh, the switch layer we don't need it anymore so now what we are going to do we are going to make a bone layer and I'll name it eyes then I'll make a vector layer and I'll name this one eyes also and I'll put it into the bone layer and what I do I take the draw shape tool and uh, it doesn't matter which color uh, you select if it's a color that's fine and you just draw a shape in the form of wait oh that's not what we want we'll draw it like this and then edit copy edit paste so you have a second one now what I'm going to do going to make a new layer I'll name this one eyes 2 and I'll take the draw shape tool and I choose white and oval and I'll just draw a big oval right here this may seem a little bit weird but but uh, just hold on a second everything gets clear uh, then I'm going to make uh, the pupils and I'm just going to draw the pu pupils right here go to copy it and paste it and I'll make this uh, layer invisible so I can see where I can put them there we go that's good so and then I'm going to uh, make his eyelids and of course we need the skin color for that so I take the eyedropper tool and choose this color right here and I'll take the draw shade tool with the oval and I'll just draw these shapes right here like that I'm going to make this layer invisible so you can so we have to put it you have put the points right here so it's over uh, outside of uh, the eyes right here so we are going to do that right now first I'll take the curvature tool and I'll just uh, make these points sharper and then I'll just move them right here and I'll put this this one right here so those are going to be his eyelids and I'm going to do the same thing for all the objects uh, take the curvature tool make these points sharper and then I'll put them right here and maybe it's better if I just zoom in so you can see it better put it right here maybe oh it's not what we want add and just move it like that and maybe move uh, this eyelid also this one also right here right so now I'm going to do the same thing for the second one going to make these points sharper put them right here put these one right here and finally this one also right here there we go so now we have the eyelids <coughs> so now what we have to do uh, this looks very weird I know 
what I'll do is just uh, double click on the bone layer, the eyes, and you go to masking. And then you click right here on hide all and you choose. Okay, so now what happened? Uh, everything on this layer uh, becomes uh, invisible except for here because this is where uh, we have the layer below the eyes layer so basically you're looking if you're looking through this uh, layer through these objects and then you see uh, what's on this layer and what I'm also going to do um, I'm going to uh, masking well on, on this layer and you click on exclude strokes that way uh, the strokes become visible so now what you can do so make the points visible you can just take this one right here and you can see now he has eyelids but they become invisible outside of the eyes so if I'm going to uh, frame 72 and uh, what I just do I'll just select them all and I'll just click one time and then two keyframes are created right here then I go to frame 78 and I'll just take this one right here put it here and then this one also and if, let's see which looks the best so it looks like this um, same thing with this eye just put it right here and then you go go to frame 84 and what you do you just copy this these keyframes right here and put it on that frame so now if I'm going to play it it looks like this so that's more uh, the advanced way of uh, making a character blinking so uh, that's the end of this tutorial so if you have any more questions you can ask ask them in the comments uh, and anyway I hope you guys learned a lot about this and I hope to see you in the next video if you like this video and you want to learn more about anime studio then please subscribe to this channel I put weekly tutorials on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I also make animations myself. I upload them within one or two months, so if you're interested, you can watch those too. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.